Greetings and salutations everyone. I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review from NECA from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It's Luca the Gorilla. Luca looks pretty cool in here. Comes with an alternate head where he, he's roaring and baring his teeth. You know, just he's a standard gorilla basically, I and mean, you know. A lot of people I know have been using this as a stand-in for like Gorilla Grodd and uh, even for King Kong and some other displays. It works, I guess. I'm going to keep him with my uh, Planet of the Apes figures because he does have the green eyes that um, all the apes that had the virus have, which makes them intelligent. On the bottom there you got everybody in who was involved in the, the sculpt and everything. On the back, shows all of Wave 2, because this is Wave 2. Caesar, Cobra, Luca. I do have them all. I am showing them all. So there you go. I'm going to get him out of the package. We're going to take a really close look at him. Be right back. Alrighty, here's Luca out of the package. And he looks really cool. He's got a lot of weight to him. A lot of weight to him. Um, he's mostly got... Uh, dark gray black paint. He does have a little bit of reddish brown here at the top of his head and on his back he's definitely a silver back as you can see. So he was pretty much the head of the gorillas for Caesar's army. Um, much as it is. I will say his knees are I've got zero articulation in his knees. They're pretty much frozen with paint and I am not going to try and force them because of what happened with General Ursus and his leg, but he does have rotation here, forward and back a little bit. His butt's kind of made of a softer rubber, so it does get out of the way. And here. So you can get him down in a typical gorilla pose, you know, on his hand, on his, you know, walking on his hands if you need to. And that's probably how I'm going to display him. But he can walk upright on his feet. Um, he is stable enough. I don't think one of those stands that I have General Ursus on will actually work on him because he's very fat. Um, he's, he's also, out of the three apes from this wave, he is the heaviest. By a lot. His head's on a ball joint. Looks up, looks down, left and right. And you pop it off, you can put the other face on. But right now, I like him like that. But you can see, here's his other face. We'll take a closer look at that. Because there's a lot of detail in that. You can see there's the green eyes for the intelligence that from the virus. And you see there's his open mouth, his teeth, all that stuff. Very nicely done, as all NECA figures are. <clears throat> yeah, he's cool. He really is. His arms go out, they rotate, rotate at the elbow, they bend at the elbow a little bit. And then he's got, you know, rotation and movement in the wrist because they're on ball joints. His feet are on ball joints. So you can see you got some good movement out of him. But he looks good. Very stern looking face. Nicely done. I mean, yeah, you can have him stand in for other gorilla characters. But uh, for me, he's going to stand with the apes. You can see him with one of his other apes. We'll bring in Maurice. You can see Maurice is a little smaller because he's an orangutan, but still big around the middle. But Maurice, again, has that typical, you know, ape walking on the hands thing. That's kind of how I'm going to display him. Keeps him the most stable. <clears throat> get him out of here so yeah wave two now I waited for wave two because you know as much as I liked the movie wave one Koba and Caesar with their war paint I just didn't want them when I saw that wave two they were coming with weapons actual human weapons I was like yeah that's it I'm getting wave two so the only one I got from wave one was Maurice there <clears throat> so yeah but now I still have a representation of all them from the film so that's that's what I wanted 
I recommend him. I really do. Um, this is good for attack poses. <laughs> so yeah. There you go. That's Luca from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I recommend him because he's cool. He's really cool looking. Is he as cool as Koba and uh, Caesar? Stay tuned. Later.